Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today because I'm going to be making a homemade cauliflower pizza crust. Y'all, I'm telling you. I already did the mock of it, but I'm going to be doing it. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull these. Peel these off. Peel them off the base of it. Okay. I could have went on and bought the cauliflower rice, y'all, but I ain't, I ain't do it that way either. No, no. Some people, uh, I don't know, they, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick these apart like this. Like, so, ouch. And I heard it. I want the base of that off so we can separate. Just so I can make them like so. Some big broccoli for it. <laughs> wow. It don't matter because they're gonna get, you know, rounded up anyway, so. After you get done um, putting your cauliflower over in the food processor, it should look like this. I tried to bend this camera down, y'all, but it kind of like a almost grated like Parmesan. That's the like texture it's supposed to look. Okay, and then we're gonna take and boil this on the stove. And we're gonna drain it. Be right back. Uh, rinsed it off and drained it. Now I put it over in this pot, just not to cook it till it's brown but to like get most of the water out because you want most of your water out. And I didn't feel like boiling it and then draining it and then turning it around and putting it in a clean dry towel and wringing it out until it's completely dry. But this is my way of doing it um, so that it'll be easier for me and it'll cut down, you know, less time or whatever. So until all of this is like, you know, they don't take that long, maybe like four to six minutes or something, just stirring it around in the pot until most of it's, you know, dry as you can get it. Like I said, you don't want to overcook the cauliflower either, and you don't want to brown it. That's what you don't want to do. Okay, so I put it over um, in a bowl, and next I'm going to be making um, my egg replacement. So my egg replacement is, uh, I already told y'all this one before, but I'm gonna go with, cause I'm doubling it, it's gonna be two eggs. Um, it's gonna be two tablespoons of flaxseed, six tablespoons of water, two, three, four, five, 
six. Okay. And it's gonna make like a egg type of yolky. It's gonna feel like it's gonna look yolky like. I'm gonna use this so you can see it kind of like start starting to thicken like like an egg. See how that's doing coming forming like into an egg yolk? That's our replacement right there. Alright, and once I got my two eggs mixed how I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and pour them over in the batter along with a tablespoon of no, I'm gonna say two tablespoons of cornstarch. Alright. Then I'm going to add my nutritional yeast over, because that gives it good flavor as well. All right. Then I'm going to add, uh, what's my Parmesan? My Parmesan cheese. My vegan Parmesan cheese. I'm give it a, like a cheesy type of crust. Not add too much, but I'm just going to add a little. Susas, that, that's going to help it hold too. All right, and then I'm just gonna add my garlic powder. I'm gonna add some seasoning, uh, Italian seasoning. And my no salt substitute. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together real good. Uh, I probably should have, hold up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is still kind of hot. I wonder if I should have let this kind of cool down some. Well, I'm going to mix it with my hand, but right now it's just getting all the stuff in it. I don't know how it's ending up doing this. So. I guess we're not going to use a whisk for it. Anyway, the idea was to get it all mixed up, right? And it's going to be like a doughy type consistency. Okay. Also, I forgot. And I didn't measure this, but I should have. Brown rice flour. I'm going to use I'm going to let's do, let's use a half I'm gonna use a half cup of brown rice flour. All right, put that over here. It's already got cornstarch. Yeah, because we want it to. We want the dough to stick, hold, make a form. We want to make it like a dough, you know. Should be able to pick this up and play with this like dough. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it over onto my parchment paper. This parchment paper help out a lot, y'all. Make sure when y'all do this cauliflower crust pizza that y'all make a good, I mean, get y'all uh, some parchment paper so it doesn't stick. No. And you want to get it to where how you want it. See, this piece it can be made square or round. Me, I prefer round. And also, um, you don't want your 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 edges to be like real thin because then it'll burn faster on the on the uh, edges and stuff. So you want it kind of like thick, and you want to form it into a little nice piece of crust, you all. That's how you want it. Be a little bit. That's gonna cook in the oven. But it calls for 20 minutes, but how my dough feeling? I'm gonna push it for 30. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this onto a pizza sheet, a pizza pan, I mean, with the parchment paper on it. That's what I'm gonna do. Quesadilla uh, pan, but that, that works too, because I ain't got no pizza pan. I'm gonna go buy me one, but I'm using it, that or whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so this is our cauliflower crust, homemade cauliflower crust coming out the oven at 
temperature being 400 degrees. 30 minutes has been in there. I'm going to let this cool down for at least 10 minutes. Go ahead and put my piece of uh, sauce on it and all my toppings. Look at this, y'all. Just messy with it. Just messy with it. So I went on, chopped up me some tomatoes, thin tomatoes as thin as I could, and some onions and some uh, black olives, some spinach, mushrooms, and some and some uh, garlic, you all. And here's my pizza sauce. I got my pizza sauce. And what else am I missing? Oh, my cheese. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. I got some cheese. Uh, I got the, the Parmesan cheese, but I'm gonna be adding in on top of it the Daya uh, Mexican cheese. I wish I had pizza cheese, but I ain't got it. I don't think it makes a difference though, but yeah. So you all, this is really happening. I'm really doing this. I'm so proud of myself. Like, thank you, Jesus. He just, he just, he makes it all possible. He just makes it all possible. God is so good. Y'all, I had that um, sweet potato pie the other night. I said the only thing that wasn't in it was the, um, brown sugar and the uh, white sugar that wasn't vegan, but I forgot the eggs in it was vegan. I mean, was not vegan either. So the eggs in it was not vegan. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I have been doing this for like two months. My body rejected it. Do you hear me? I had heartburn, like what is going on? Oh, and let me tell y'all what else was not vegan. I did not know. And they was telling me in the comments until, and they was like, did you know that um, that cream of mushroom and cream of celery that you put in there was not vegan? Cause the cream in it, that's why I had heartburn. Horrible. It was just terrible, you all. But what I was happy about it was, I went on and got me a teaspoon of baking soda. And I got right back on it. I felt so guilty because my body felt so clean. So I called the herbalist. Uh, it was like one something at night. And I'm, I'm like, I messed up. She laughing because she like, you sound like a crackhead. No, that was my friends that said I sound like a crackhead. She was like, you act like you smoked some and you, and you relapsed or something. I said, that's what it feel like. You know what I'm saying? I've been clean. I've been clean for two months. And when I ate that, uh, that dressing that didn't, I didn't know it had the, you know, the cream in it or whatever. And the uh, sweet potato pie that I willingly ate. You know, my body just rejected it. Like, you know, but I got that back out of my system. Flushed it out with lemon water, kept it going, and now I'm back at it, y'all. Okay, <laughs> stay tuned for the final piece. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add my pizza sauce on it after it cooled down. It's just, you don't wanna drown it, you know, on the pizza sauce, because you know, we still gotta wait for that to get done. nice little, you know what I'm saying? Just a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so then I'm gonna add the first little layer of cheese. Get it all, you know. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add, oh, my favorites. I love, I mean, who, how many of y'all love a Supreme Pizza? Let me lay my little things down cute. Make my pizza cute. Tina want me to make her a cheese pizza. Onions. Give me some tomatoes on there. I could make this a little neater, but. I, I, I mean, just, it's gonna be sloppy anyway, baby. No, I want it to be cute. I want my pizza cute. And I still gotta put a little mushroom on there. I mean, just have fun with it, you know? Just have fun with it. Just sail along. That's what you do, just sail along. And of course you all, I got to have like, oh, all my garlic. I gotta have my garlic, I got to. I love my garlic. Garlic is my friend. What I'm gonna do is get that Parmesan. I 
and go back in. This is vegan, all vegan. <laughs> the cheese is made from chickpeas, so. what you say, this is all vegetable pizza because it's vegetable cauliflower. So y'all, this is going back in the oven for another 15 minutes as I take and slide her back onto the pan. And the pan, and the pan. There she is. My homemade cauliflower crust vegan pizza. She just got out of the stove and now she has to cool down before I can cut her. She's all crispy around the side. But she's all melted inside. She's so, so, so beautiful to me. I'll try not to eat everything. Oh. So actually what I did, because I wanted it to cool off faster, I moved the old parchment paper from underneath it, put a new one, and I took it off the, uh, basically put it on the cutting board and uh, I feel like that'll cool it off more uh, or faster that's what I'm trying to say piece of look good y'all okay so I want you all to see um, sitting at this angle I'm gonna go ahead and slice it this way it seems like it's kind of uh, my, my, my first crust it was kind of sturdier, but maybe because like um, the toppings on it, because I noticed in the middle of it, like around where the pizza sauce was, you know? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go and cut it this way. Yes, yeah, it's, it's real, really, really, really soft. I, I let it cool down, I mean, you can tell already it's kind of, Pushing apart. My last pizza, it had a lot of hold to it. So we're gonna see how this one did. Mm. Almost. Wait. Okay, cause so it's got it's got form and hold to it. Mm. And I'm just gonna go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me get me this piece right here. Go on, give me a couple of slices. Go on, do yourself right here. Mm. Pizza Hut. Hungry Howie's. Just pizza. <laughs> Walmart's pizza crust. Walmart's cauliflower. <laughs> Walmart's cauliflower pizza crust. <laughs> no, dear. I can make this myself. I can make this myself. So. <laughs> Yes. I'm just going to go ahead and get into this, what they say, vegan goodness. Mm. Yeah. This is so good. That was so good, y'all. I'm happy with it. Vegan crust. Um, cauliflower crust. Who would have thought? Huh? Who would have thought? Man. I'm just telling you this. Mmm. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe, stuff like that and everything. I'm working double time today because I'm about to do this video of uh, my vegan uh, cauliflower brownies. So if you see me in the same thing, yeah, I'm about to turn around and do them. You know, 
work over time. But as I know, as you all know, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is all good. Healthy lifestyle. It's so fun. Especially when you can see results and feel results. What I'm about to say. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Right.